Hello friends, welcome back to Pathology Tutorials. Today I have come up with a new topic that is HPV infection with biomarkers in cervical cancer and vaccine for cervical cancer. This topic is very important for both MD and DNB students. First, we will study the HPV structure. Human papilloma virus is a small non-enveloped double-stranded DNA molecule with approximately 8000 base pairs. It has three regions. First is upper regulatory region which is non-coding and which functions as transcription and replication control region. Then comes early region which encodes proteins which are called as early proteins and these are E1 to E7 in number excluding E3. So these are 6 in number. Then comes late region which encodes proteins which are called as late proteins and these are L1 and L2. L1 capsid protein E6 and E7 they are oncogenic that is they have role in cancer. Now coming to the HPV types. There are basically three types of human papilloma virus. They are low risk, intermediate risk and high risk types. Low risk includes HPV 6, 11, 42, 43 and 44. Intermediate types are 33, 35, 39, 52 and 58. And high risk HPV types are HPV 16, 18, 31 and 45. HPV 16 and 18. They are responsible for 70% of HPV cancers. HPV-16 is most common in intraepithelial neoplasia and invasive cervical cancer. And HPV-18 is second most common. Then comes the cancers with HPV. What are the various cancers which are caused by human papilloma virus? These are cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, penile cancer, anal cancer and oropharyngeal cancers. Now coming to the pathogenesis of cervical cancer by human papilloma virus. This is the stratified squamous epithelium of the cervix and this is the basal layer. The basal layer serves as a stem cell reservoir that regenerates the epithelial layer by differentiation. And how this human papilloma virus causes cancer? This virus infects the basal layer of the stratified squamous epithelium. Once inside the host cell, HPV DNA replicates, cells differentiate and progresses to the surface of the epithelium. Now HPV DNA integrates into host genome and its various proteins like E6 that binds and degrades p53 and e7 binds and degrades retinoblastoma gene now basically cell growth is regulated by these two cellular proteins p53 and retinoblastoma gene product now uh, this hpv e6 protein binds to p53 and targets it for rapid degradation via cellular ubiquitin ligase pathway as a result, the normal activities of P53, which governs G1 arrest, apoptosis, and DNA repair, they all are abrogated. And E7 protein binds and degrade retinoblastoma gene products. Then next is biomarkers. Uh, what is a biomarker? Biomarker is actually a measurable indicator of the presence of uh, uh, some disease or indicator of severity of a particular disease. So uh, the biomarkers which are uh, seen in cervical cancer are divided into two types. They are viral markers and cellular markers. Viral markers include HPV DNA detection, 
एच पी वी ऑंकोजीन एम आर एन ए ई सिक्स ई सेवन प्रोटीन्स एच पी वी इंटीग्रेशन होस्ट एंड वायरल मिथाइलेशन एंड सेलुलर मार्कर्स इंक्लूड पी सिक्सटीन के आई सिक्सटी सेवन एम सी एम टू टॉप टू ए दीज आर प्रोलीफ्रेशन मार्कर्स एंड क्रोमोजोमल इनस्टेबिलिटी थ्री क्यू एंड फाइव क्यू वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस ऑल दीज बायो मार्कर्स इन माई अपकमिंग स्लाइड्स फर्स्ट इज एच पी वी डी एन ए टेस्टिंग द डिटेक्शन ऑफ एच पी वी इन सर्वाइकल स्क्रेपिंग वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इवेल्युएटेड मैथड एंड डिटेक्शन ऑफ एच पी वी डी एन ए इज बेस्ड ऑन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन विद सिग्नल एम्पलीफिकेशन ऑफ एच पी वी डी एन ए फॉर एग्जाम्पल डाइजीन हाइब्रिड कैप्चर टू एच सी टू एंड एच पी वी एच आर बायोलॉजिक and uh, hpv dna detection is also done by genomic amplification using pcr for example amplicor hpv test and cobas hpv test this this hpv dna testing has high sensitivity and high negative predictive value because uh, because the absence of carcinogenic hpv dna indicates an extremely low risk for सेन थ्री और इन्वेजिव सर्वाइकल कैंसर फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव टू टेन ईयर्स देन कम्स एच पी वी ऑंकोजीन एम आर एन यू ई सिक्स ई सेवन एज वी हैव जस्ट रेड इन आर प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स दैट ई सिक्स एंड ई सेवन दे आर ऑनकोजेनिक एंड हैव रोल इन कैंसर सो वैन देर इज एच पी वी इन्फेक्शन देर आर increased number of hpv e6 and e7 mrna and protein expression and they are detected by two commercial platforms first is pretec proofer and second is aptima the first one that is pretec proofer detects five types of hpv that is 16 18 31 33 and 45 and aptima covers 14 types of hpv The next is P16 Inc 4A. P16 is a cyclin dependent kinase kinase inhibitor, and it is overexpressed in cancerous and precancerous cervical tissues. It is a cellular correlate of increased expression of viral oncoprotein E7, which disrupts retinoblastoma protein, and it is measured through. IHC staining of histology and cytology slides, and also measured through ELISA assays. A commercially available CE marked assays are used for its detection. Next is TOP two A and MCM two. Topo isomerase two A and mini chromosome maintenance protein two. These two proteins indicate. aberrant s phase induction and it is detected by pro x c which is commercially available next is dna methylation it is an epigenetic marker when the promoter region of tumor suppressor gene is hypermethylated there occurs decrease expression of regulatory proteins and this dna methylate is stable analyte and which can be measured in many biospecimens the various methylation markers which are studied in cervical specimens are dapk gene ras f1 gene cdh1 gene cdk n2a oblique p16 gene sox1 gene lmx1a gene nkx621 gene and wt1 gene then comes viral methylation post genome methylation has been studied so far but now there is growing evidence that methylation of hpv dna may also have important role in cervical carcinogenesis e6 e7 promoter regions are methylated in later stage of tumor progression and l1 cpgs region is methylated in high grade lesions so these two are viral proteins 
which gets methylation in cervical cancer chromosomal abnormalities there are various types of chromosomal abnormalities seen in cervical cancer there is either loss of chromosome or amplification of chromosome the loss of uh, chromosome is seen in 2q 3p 4p 5q 11q 13q and 18q and uh, chromosomal amplification is seen in 1p 3q 5p and 8q but the most commonly reported chromosomal abnormality in cervical cancer is gain of long arm of chromosome 3 where turg gene is located microRNAs have also role in cancer uh, of cervix but uh, these microRNAs are less studied so far HPV vaccine till now we have studied uh, the uh, role of HPV in uh, um, cancer formation and pathogenesis and its biomarkers now we will study HPV vaccine uh, this vaccine is uh, recommended for both girls and boys at the age of 11 to 12 years and uh, it may be given from the age of 9 years these are the recommendations as per American College of Ops and Gynecology this vaccination is not recommended during pregnancy however if the vaccine series is started and the lady becomes pregnant then completion of vaccine series should be delayed until that pregnancy is completed and this vaccine is uh, given during the breastfeeding period also immune suppression is not a contraindication and US FDA has approved three HPV vaccines what are those vaccines they are Cervarix, Gardasil and G9 these vaccines they cover 2, 4 and 9 HPV serotypes that's why they are called as bivalent, quadrivalent and nonvalent respectively. Now HPV vaccines are more effective when they are given before exposure to virus. Now what are the doses of HPV vaccine? Uh, if it is given less than 15 years of age only two doses are needed. First dose is given as a baseline and second dose is given after an interval of 6 to 12 months and if the interval between two doses is less than 5 months then third dose is also recommended for age group of 15 to 26 years three doses are needed first dose then second dose is given after an interval of 1 to 2 months and third dose is given after 6 months of first dose then age group of 27 to 45 years the overall public health benefit of this vaccination is markedly diminished in this particular age group compared with target age group because most women in this age group are already exposed to the virus so in this age group most likely benefit benefited women are women uh, younger women uh, women having polygamous relationship and women who are recently diagnosed with sexually transmitted infections. I hope you like this video. With this, I would like to end my topic. Thank you so much for 